Hi everyone, welcome back to the Daily Society. Tonight I've got a bit of an early Friday says because here in Australia it's actually Thursday night and that is because of a brand new pattern release compliments of the wonderful Pattern Emporium. I just couldn't wait to show you guys. I've made a couple of versions. I've also made some things to compliment them. I'm going to give you a little bit of a fashion show. See what you think because it is the most comfortable, practical thing and it's perfect for layering. So I'm going to tell you all about it. Now, Pattern Emporium, of course, is a wonderful Aussie company. And if you haven't joined Pattern Emporium's circle over on Facebook, you better go and do that because we always find out about their new pattern releases about a week before they come out. And the beautiful Kate from Pattern Emporium also does a wonderful vlog and shows you the different options you can make. Um, she'll tell you all about the fitting, the sizing and any kind of general tips so you get to know that before the pattern comes out and then the day after that you get to see all of her testers release photos and pics and that way it's fantastic because you get to see them on all different shapes and sizes um, and it's, yeah, it's a fantastic pattern I know you're going to love it because I was very excited when I saw this because I am actually a big fan of their patterns I've made quite a lot and I've shown you a lot they're very well known for their knit patterns but this is a woven pattern they do have a couple probably about four or five woven patterns so it's very exciting if you've got have fabric in a stash that you might want to use up some wovens this is going to be a winner for your wardrobe this pattern is called the sea change now it's a play suit slash romper slash jumpsuit i think kate did a poll and everyone calls them something different uh, i personally would say jumpsuit my kids would probably say uh play suit because they're in their early 20s the old ones and they they call it a play suit um some people call it a romper so i think it just depends on where you're from and what you call it but I am such a big fan of pants in summer. I love a wide floaty pant. I love wearing cool woven fabrics and I like things that are trans-seasonal and that can be layered. So let me give you a bit of a look. I've made two here. The first one I've got on is in a rayon fabric. The C change comes in size 6 up to 26 and she has all of the measurements on the pattern for you to look at. I think wearing pants for those warmer days can be very practical if you're like me, you're running around and you feel like you just want to wear something that you can sort of pull on and pull off really easy but things that don't cling to your body and don't sort of make you overly hot. Uh, I think those sort of things are ones that I love wearing. I love floating around in cool things, but I also like things that I can layer. I love wearing things through winter, like jumpsuits that I can layer with maybe a turtleneck or a long sleeve top or a jacket over the top. So you'll find a lot of different fabrics this can be made in. Predominantly, go for things with a bit of drape. So I'm loving the fact that rayon and viscose is the number one pick, but you can do things like crepe. You can do things like a linen or a linen tensile blend, I think would be perfect because it has got a little bit of drape. But I've seen it done in linen. I've done one in a linen as well. I think you're going to love that one too. So it's a really practical, easy style. Let me show you how cool is that? It is the most floaty, easy thing to wear. Straps, you can actually make adjustable straps. If you have trouble like me in getting straps to stay on, you can do use one of those little bra fasteners that you can adjust or you can do a loop at the back. I've just gone for the fixed strap. I think the tie-up strap with a little bow looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm very tempted to do that. But I, the one thing I did with this is I took about six centimetres off my strap because, as you know, if you watch me for a while, you'll know that I have trouble with sort of slanted shoulders and things falling off really annoy me. So I decided to fit the garment first before I sewed the back straps in. I got the fit right and I kind of took smidges off and pinned, got the length right. So I took six centimetres off my strap. But that's personal. You might be longer in the body. You might be shorter in the body than me. Uh, I think that way you can tailor it just perfectly to your own length. And yeah, if you want to be comfy, definitely um, yeah, alter your straps to fit yourself. Now there is a wider strap, which is what I've got on here. And I've gone a little bit wider than the wide strap. You can, you can do that. But as long as you don't go too wide, because then you've got to fit it to your facing. It's got a lovely facing. Practically about this jumpsuit is that you can make it with a fastening at the back. So I'll turn around and show you. It's got a button fastening there and a little loop, really easy to make. But you don't have to do that. If you are 
bigger up the top and down the bottom or the same width around your bust as what you are around your hips you can do it just complete faced no opening at all if you can step into it pull it on and off uh, that's a really practical easy make and there is a little guideline she does show you measurements so you can see particularly for your size are you going to be able to do that now for me I'm a bit more of a pear shape so that would not work for me because if I fitted it to my bust without the opening I would then have trouble I wouldn't be able to pull it on over sort of step into it and pull it up so for me that wasn't going to work for my sizing you'll see that guideline they're very easy to follow I made a straight size 14 as I do with most pattern emporium patterns sometimes I'll go up to a 16 around the middle just depending on the fit but 14 for me was perfect there's a lot of ease in this and pockets you can put pockets in I love the pockets in the jumpsuit but you don't have to do that you can leave them at it's totally optional the fantastic thing about this I'll show you the amount of ease in it is so it's all fitted around with the tires so if you want to leave it loose that's fine you can do that really comfy but I decided to put extra long ties now she has got ones that will just tie back and tie back like that to your sides just to give you some shape but I double lengthened my ties and I made them a tad wider because I love the fact that you can wrap around the back and then around the front to give you that shaping as well. So this is basically the sash. Um, you have got a sash. If you'd rather just have one sash and leave it loose, you can do that. If you want to insert the ties on the side like me, you can do that too. Um, yeah, fantastic. You can do three different lengths. You can either do the shorts. So there's two lengths for the shorts. You can do three quarter, which is what I've done, a regular length three quarter pan. And you can do full length, which looks wonderful as well. If you want it to hit the floor, maybe you want to wear it with some nice sandals or some heels, you can do that. I just think that looks fantastic as well. So you can see that the drape, it just moves nice and easy, nice and cool. Now this fabric was from Fabric Hunt here in Australia. It's a gorgeous rayon print. I think she still has some left. I will link that fabric below. It's a dream to wear. I love the color. Uh, and also there is a black colorway in this as well with the um, same sort of coloring flowers. So really nice fabric. She has some beautiful fabrics on her website. So go and have a look at Fabric Hunt. Now I'm going to show you some styling tips that I've done with this just to show you how practical and easy it is to wear. This is the kind of thing that I would want to live in, especially all year round. I can even imagine this if you can find yourself a nice viscose blend tensile denim like a really lightweight that could work beautifully as well I'm on the hunt to find that right um, soft tensile denim I wouldn't use like uh, Kate actually did say don't use cottons because they can get a bit sticky and uh, they're not they haven't got enough drape unless you can get a nice cotton blend I would steer away from anything too structured linen does soften up when you wash it so linen is great you can use linen but even better is a linen blended with maybe a viscose or um, rayon so because you'll get that beautiful soft drape but I've seen Kate wear a black crepe I just think that's the most practical easy thing a black crepe jumpsuit for layering would work really well but yeah I'm really interested to do the tie top I think that would be really cute um, but love love the pattern and I know you're going to love this too and for you guys in the northern hemisphere and you're wanting to head into that spring kind of make season spring summer this is one you're going to want to make so it's comfortable cool and breezy and easy to wear so very very easy to make too so I will change and show you my next ensemble I'm back I've got the besties tea underneath this and I've done a video on this if you haven't watched it go back and you can rewatch. I'll, I'll link it below this is one of Pattern Emporium's fantastic t-shirt patterns I've done a whole series different looks different necklines I've got the normal high crew neck here in a beautiful bamboo jersey from my design it's absolutely soft and beautiful but perfect for layering under a jumpsuit like the sea change so it gives it a different look gives it a bit more of a casual look but makes it really practical so I think it's great to have those layering kind of style tops now the sea change is on a special price for a new release pattern but anything that Kate wore in her promo video is also marked down so it's a great time to purchase one of those patterns or maybe all of them and it'll give you a different kind of look change up the outfit give you more versatile sort of options to wear so this is the normal let's say crew neck t-shirt besties with the normal sleeve short sleeve you can make a cap sleeve a short sleeve which is what I've gone or you can mash it back with various other patterns uh, I think with the besties tee the starstruck has a beautiful bishop sleeve so you can mash that back if you've got the starstruck already uh, I think that's great how their patterns are interchangeable and 
smashable. It really gives it a different look. Of course, these are a pair of wedge heels that I've got on, but I think that would look fantastic in a pair of little trainer shoes, Converse style runners. If you wanted to really dress it down and have it more of a practical running around type of item to wear. If you want to dress it up, go for a pair of heels. I think this kind of leg looks fantastic in heels. I'll change into the shorts now. This is the shorts version, play suit version. Now, I'm not generally a big shorts wearer, but when I saw this play suit, I thought this is going to be a great one to wear. This is going to be really practical. When it's a hot day, this is what I'm going to want to wear. I've made the size 14 again. I've made it this time in a linen tensile blend from Spotlight that was on the clearance. So I'm not sure if they still have it, but it's a really soft drapey style linen. I think a silk noil would be beautiful in this as well. So the play suit for me was something I was going to just decide to make, see how it came up and I absolutely love it. So it just goes to show you, get out of your comfort zone people and you might find something you really love. I will give you a bit more of a look. So I've done the shorts, longer length version in the shorts and I've gone this time for just the ties on the side shaped at the back. So gives it a bit more of a silhouette if you want a fun kind of comfy style leave it untied let it sort of be nice and easy and baggy but i like a little bit of shaping through the middle this is the same thing the wide straps i like that to cover my bra if you like a thin narrow strap you can do that and also don't forget the adjustable straps you can make that up as well and the loops i think kate actually did in her video some beautiful um chains like some silver metallic chains on her shoulders so you can really play with that you can maybe do velvet or ribbon lace you can really embellish the front if you're wanting to do something a bit more special but if you want a general practical kind of everyday thing this linen is so comfortable to wear i left the pockets out of this because i thought being linen sometimes it can be a bit bulky around the hips but i think um yeah i think it looks great without them as well so really up to you if you want pockets and you can't go without them there's the option for that too so i will show you what I've made to go with this as well, another Patton Emporium pattern that is also on sale. And I'll also show you the back. This is the fastening at the back button. Really, really fun and practical, but I think you can really make this fun. Dress it down with some little runner style shoes as well. Show you what's next. If you like a little lightweight kimono style jacket, you're going to love the Songbird Duster. There are quite a lot of lengths. This is the kind of hip. Uh, I think it's called the cover-up length. You can make it in a short cropped version. You could also make it in knee length and really long length. You can do different sleeves. This is the semi-flared shorter sleeve. You can do a really flared sleeve or you can do a tapered sleeve. So it gives you so many options. And I love that about pattern important patterns that you are really the own creator of your look because you have got all of those options to use. You can chop and change and make various styles of the one garment. This is a beautiful rayon just from Spotlight. Uh, I love this kind of vintage print, but I think it looks fantastic. If you want to layer, maybe you're going out at night, it's a bit cool. You can pop it over the top, but still not feel too hot. I just think it's really practical and easy to wear. A little bit of warmth without being overly hot. You can also make this in a knit fabric as well, which is fantastic. As a lot of patterns, you can't do that. So if you've got the option to do either, I think it would work really well. This is the wide facing the front. You can go for a skinny along narrow facing. You can also use a diagonal bottom. But I've gone for this a square. And I think it looks really cute together. So you can sort of mix and match. Maybe make a couple of plain songbirds as well. Um, the pattern ones are great for mixing and matching. I just think nothing dresses up a garment like a beautiful long line duster jacket. I just think they're fantastic. And they're light too. They're nice and comfortable and floaty and breezy. I hope you liked that. If you want to buy this pattern while it's on sale, don't forget, I have an affiliate link there below. You can go and do that. And if you haven't watched Kate's video, she will take you through all the ins and outs of this particular jumpsuit. 
and really gives you the full-on details before you go ahead. I think if you've got a lot of knowledge before you embark on a new pattern, it is so much easier. And Pattern Emporium patterns are so great because you have visuals, great photos. She's got lots of hints and tips there on the page that you can sort of flick through. I just think she gives you so many different um, bits of information about fabric and what's best to choose for each pattern as well. So one of my favorite pattern companies and you can see why. So the sea change is on sale till Sunday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to pick it up, get yourself a bargain and add to your wonderful Pattern Emporium collection. See how many different versions you can come up with. I know myself, I'm really keen on making a few more of these because I just think they're great. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you are interested in making your own wardrobe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. The bell's really important because it updates you to any time I've released a new video and you can never miss out then. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content here today. Thanks so much for watching. Keep safe and keep sewing and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Baby cockatoos are up there. They're going to hijack every time I vlog. Okay, I think they've gone quiet. <laughs>